Hey friends, this is Tig again with another reaction video. And today we're going to be doing a reaction on The Penguin. This is the official teaser trailer too. Now I'm really looking forward to the official trailer, man. It looks so good so far, okay? And this is probably going to tell you a little bit more about what's going on with The Penguin. Now one thing I do notice that the changes they made from the comic books and from the original Batman series when it comes down to the penguin they're making them more like a gangster than anything else i don't think they'll ever use the props again that they use in the old batman series but either way it goes i'm still in i'm still interested and hopefully they'll bring other comic book characters into this show okay so let's go ahead and get started but before we do please like subscribe and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you know whenever we come out with new videos Okay, all right, let's get with it. Go be calling the shots. <laughs> mm, damn, they're going big with this. Look at this. What that madman did. Listen, Sal. Carmine Falcone's dead. And I'm here now. I'll be calling the shots. Ooh, the Falcone's sweet, still licking their wounds. They're distracted. The business will be ripe for the taking. My father's been dead a week. You want to take what's mine? I'm the daughter of the Falcon Don, but he's dead. And the family thinks I'm broken. I'm not broken. You and me, kid. We gotta take whatever we decide is ours. Cause no one's gonna give it to us. We're not without a fight. <laughs> Penguin, you work for the family. You will do as you're told. I refuse to let these old men push me aside again. So I'm gonna take from them now. And I'm gonna force them to their knees. What is it you're really after, Oz? I'm gonna tear down the Empire from the inside out. You know, Oz, people underestimate you, but not me. I've always known you were capable of more. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> All right. That looks excellent, man. That's what I'm talking about when it comes down to doing comic books. And that's what I love about DC. They go full on realism, everything with these characters. And I love that. I just wish they do it more because sometimes they'll come out and com come out campy in a way. And I don't like when DC do that. It, it, it just looks bad. I remember when they came out with the last Harley Quinn. I tried to watch it, but I couldn't. It was just too campy for me. I know sometimes they want to do comedic stuff, follow behind James Gunn and try to do their own thing. But I think they're better at this. Like, you know, Batman Returns and that sort in a real type world instead of just keep on doing that campy stuff. And that's where they have Marvel beat when it comes down to these movies. I love that realism. You know, now I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I wonder if they want to use the same props as they did in the original Batman. Now, if you remember Batman, the Penguin and Batman, of course he did the walk, he had the top hat, and he used umbrellas a lot as weapons and things of that sort. But they decided to go ahead and get rid of most of that, all if not all of it, right? Um, he still have this kind of walk I can see in the trailer that, you know, maybe it's a limp or something like that. I can't remember exactly what happened to him at the end of Batman, but he has a limp, it seems like. And I guess that's uh, part of the reason probably why they call him uh, the Penguin. Not only that, he kind of looks like a penguin in a way. You know, you get those nicknames. Everybody get a nickname when they're young, right? When they have friends. If you got friends, I'm sure they got a nickname for you, okay? It's very rare you don't get a nickname, right? And so, it, it just happens. And then people are known for it, right? Now, this actress, I've seen her before. The first time I've seen her, it was on uh, 30 Rock. 
loved her in it. And from my understanding, she is a comedian and, you know, slash actor, of course. Right. But now it seems like she's doing serious roles. And I really think she can pull it off. I know this about a lot of uh, comedians. They really can do dramatic movies and shows. Man. It's very interesting. Sometimes they're better than actual actors. Right. Because I think actors take themselves too seriously. And what I love about comedians, they don't take themselves too seriously. But a lot of the time they have a hard life. If you look at behind the scenes, very tragic drugs, abandonment, all these things, all these issues. And they bring it to the uh, uh, comedy when they go on stage and they're really good and then when they start acting they're really really good and I love the way this woman is I think she fits this perfectly okay and like I said I love the realism of this I love the fact that they making him a gangster and they're just making it a real world thing somewhat that other uh, characters they can flush out and make it really good just like Harvey for example Two-Face hopefully they'll have something like that on here and other characters as well like you know, uh, I think, well, they hit the Riddler on, on the movie, so they tried to make that as realistic as possible. They followed behind Christopher Nolan because that uh, uh, franchise was so successful. And so they decided to go ahead and piggyback on that and continue on with this. I wish they did most of everything they did do, excuse me, do um, when it comes down to the comic book characters and make it real, real as possible. Now, what makes it difficult is when you do something like Superman or Green Lantern or Wonder Woman. It's very difficult put those in the real world when it comes down to batman he's like a street level uh, uh superhero it's just like jessica jones and iron fist and daredevil they more street level superheroes and i always find myself enjoying those more when it comes down to just really interesting reading it go more in depth about their relationships and about you know their their vices and, and, and pitfalls and everything else they don't do that too much when it comes down to like superman Superman, you really got to be really into the fantasy part in order to enjoy that. But when it comes down to like Daredevil, what, what, whatever, you can really see the depths of the characters. And that's why I love it when they do it this way. And you can't, you don't see that much when you watch MCU with Disney. They, they're too focused on making it campy and superhero-ish. So you really can't identify with most of the comic books. And it's always the same that people are getting tired of seeing superheroes. What they're getting tired, tired of is the same old crap. They don't want to see the same old crap. I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to seeing the Penguin, okay? I'm one of those people, right? If I got Max now because I'm watching The House of the Dragons. First episode was excellent. Love it. I love stuff like that, man. I do. I love the realism and then they would, because they take the comic book seriously. Because if you read comic books, I ain't talking about back in the day when everything first started. When, you know, they were making um, Joker all comic booky and Penguin all comic booky. And it was good for its day. Don't get me wrong. But now I love the realism now. And that's what they should do. And, and, and MCU should start looking at that. They should like, you know what? Maybe we need to start making some of our shows like that. Because it's, it's, it's very difficult to make uh, Disney Gold rated R very difficult i mean you know with deadpool that's a start but they re it's really difficult for them to do something like this i mean they tried with like with the kingpin and all that kind of stuff i heard it was like a mess and the only people that did it well was uh with like with jessica jones and daredevil when it came down to netflix netflix don't care they don't have an issue with going serious with stuff now there's a lot of stuff netflix has done that people hated like when they were using those children to um, do that nasty dancing and all kind of stuff. Sometimes I feel like Netflix go too far. But then you got to have two sides of a coin there. If you got a uh, organization that like to take risk, then that's what you got to deal with. Does that mean that I approve of what they did? No. I'm just saying it comes with the territory. When you look, when you get stuff like this, for example, the Penguin, right? But they also deal in stuff you might not like or might not approve of too as well you can't have both i was just watching lauren lauren chan and she was talking about the boys i might do a reaction to that i'm still debating and she was talking about how the boys are going down the hill and things of that sort and because they begin they now becoming too political but that's what comes with it in a way right because when when the boys first started everybody loved it it was liberals and conservatives everybody loved it right questionable stuff you know sometimes people may argue maybe christian, uh, christians should watch things like that but they do i mean it is what it is i watch it okay 
uh, strictly for entertainment. That doesn't mean I approve of things, but I just watch for entertainment purposes. But what comes along with that, you're going to get some messaging. You're going to get all the crazy stuff that also comes with a lot of these people because they believe in a lot of this stuff. Okay? And I guess where we don't like to cross the line is, look, if you're going to do something really, really risky or really, you know, uh, creative or whatever, right? Keep it in, the, in this lane of reality. Don't bring it into something that's ridiculous and stupid and nobody agrees with. That's when you lose everybody. You do. You lose it. And that's what I like about DC. Uh, they not dabbling too much into poli- politics. I very, I really, really, really rarely ever hear them do that. You know, it might be a slight here, a slight there, maybe. But generally, they just stick to stories. Because <coughs> they want to make money. <laughs> they want to get paid. And they want people to keep coming back and go on their streaming service. Which is, Disney is the opposite. But I'm hearing rumors now, Disney is starting to, in Florida, they're starting to pay a lot of the conservatives now. I guess to keep them off their backs or whatever, right? Instead of just starting making good movies and staying out of politics, now they got it pay people off and all this other crap you know this is allegedly i just heard it in the news i'm not exactly sure how much of a fact that is but either way it goes it seemed like they'd rather just go around it instead of just fixing the problem dc on the other hand dc netflix and and places like that they don't want to deal with it too much netflix once in a while deal deal with the message as they call it right but then most of the time they're just trying to make movies which i appreciate because i know it's two sides to this right they still got to deal with, you know, whoever this pressure in them to do the message. But, you know, they just really want to make money and make movies. And that's how I feel when it comes down to Max. Because they don't do that political stuff when it comes down to, like, Game of Thrones or the House of the Dragon. I appreciate it. And that makes me love it. And I know they'll never go that route. I mean, yeah, of course. They're making strong female uh, uh, leads. But they're not making them super women, right? They got flaws. They make bad decisions. They can be killed. All kind of stuff. I mean, I'm going to give you a perfect example. If you haven't seen uh, the first episode, the first season, uh, episode one of season two, uh, skip this part. But there's a part when these guys came in to kill uh, one of the characters' uh, grandchildren. And because, you know, the other woman's uh, son died, you know, a dragon attack. Okay, if you've seen it. And the, the woman, instead of fighting back like some superhero, right, she grabbed the other kid and took off looking for help. You know what I'm saying? They make them act like women. That's what I'm saying. They make them act like women. That's what I love about the Game of Thrones, right? They were women. They might have been in in, in, in boss positions like queens and stuff like that. But then they won't kick and tail and, and doing all kind of stuff. They were still cool, but they did it as women. How You know, manip, manip, manipulative. They used a sex. They used all kind of stuff to get what they want, which how women act. And I believe it's going to be the same thing with this particular character that I'm looking at right now. She's going to use not only the name of Falcon, Falcone, I think that's her father. But she's also going to use her sex appeal to seduce people uh, to, to come in all innocent. Because that's a good thing about women. You never really feel threatened when a woman comes to you. You don't think she's going to hurt you in any kind of way. And that's how she can get under your radar. They use what they can to get what they want. You know, you got to be just wise and smart when you're dealing with women like this and just be careful. You can play with fire if you want to, but it can be very dangerous. But they just do it in a different way. Men usually do it by force. Women, they usually more manipulative when it comes down to trying to get what they want. And that's what I like. Make them always stay women. They can be hardcore. They can kill people. They can do whatever, right? But keep them as women. For some reason, like again, Disney have a problem with that. They want to make these women masculine and all that stuff. And nobody can identify with that, especially women. Women love characters like this. Okay, stick with that. But I'm really, really, really looking forward to the Penguin. I love the Batman and I'm looking forward to this. I think Colin Farrell is a great actor. I think he's going to kill it. He killed the part in the movie, and I think he's going to kill him on this. I think he loved doing stuff like this. And I think more actors are going to go towards DC because James Gunn and them are trying to change things up and not always push the message all the time. Okay? <laughs> Crazy stuff. All right. I really appreciate all of you coming by. Thanks again. This is T and peace.